it's your girl Zoe, aka Melanated Beauty, back with you guys again for another awesome YouTube video. And today is nails, 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 nails. So if you guys want to see how I did this set here, watch me work. So as requested, I am showing you guys how I prep my nails. I'm just making sure there's no gunk or germs or dirt under my nails. And I'm using my cuticle pusher to do that part here. Of course, you can always wash your hands, but I just go in to like double check, make sure it's nothing under there. And then I'm going in and pushing back my cuticles. Um, I don't have to do this very often because um, my cuticles don't grow like a whole lot and really bad. And I usually keep nails on anyway. So I'm going in with my e and I'm using the football piece and I'm going in around my cuticles. Now I love this bit for this purpose and there is also the round one that I use. So it just depends on like which one is handy at the moment <laughs> for me to use like because I love both of them they get the job done when it comes to you know cleaning up the cuticle area so once I get done um, cleaning up my cuticles I go in of course and just get all the dust off and I go in um, y'all I can never remember the name of this tool <laughs> but it is for your cuticles I think it's a cuticle clipper you know don't judge me <laughs> but I go in and get like access cuticle off that didn't come off or whatever and like I said I you really don't have to do this uh pretty often or uh, whatever so i'm just going in and getting any off that i see on there that you know i don't want to be on there <laughs> but if you guys don't have this tool it is perfectly fine to just push back your cuticles and foul or whatever so now i'm going in with my buffing block and just getting all of the shine off of my nails. You can use a regular file for this, but I'm just using my buffing block. And I already have my tips picked out, so I'm going in with my e file and etching the inside of my nails where they will be sticking onto my real nails because it's just gonna help the glue to stick inside of the, um, etched parts and it's also going to help as well like because I did that on my actual nails so like I said this is all a part of my prep that you guys requested and then I'm just going in and pushing you know gluing the nails on there and making sure they're on there nice and snug no air bubbles none of that stuff sometimes I do go ahead and put an extra dab on top it just you know really depends but I really love these tips here. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're just like so straight. Um, but I'll post a link for these below. It's like a huge bag of these. <laughs> and I think I bought them maybe like two or three months ago. So yeah, if you like straight nails, you wanna do coffin, stiletto, or whatever the case is, yes, these are it for you. So I'm going in and just clipping down my nails you know, here to the size that I wanted them to be. I used one of my old nails to um, size them up correctly because I do like long nails now, y'all. So I'm going in. I really don't have to do a lot of shaping here, but I am going in, you know, just to make sure they are, um, like I said, fitting close and snug wall to wall and shaping them up just a tad bit more to get like that perfect crisp shape or whatever. But with them being long, I don't have to, like I said, do too much shaping here.
And again, I'm just going in with my buffing block and taking the shine off of my nail tips. And I'm also smoothing down the tip onto my nail um, flush. So it's no, um, so you can't really see the ridge there. So this is what I'm doing. You don't have to do this step, but <laughs> then again, me personally, I think you should. Um, sometimes when you go to the nail shop, they will take the e-file and do this step um, as well to make sure that the tip is flush onto your natural nail. So again, if you don't have a buffing block, you can just use a regular nail file. Sometimes, like I said, I do use my e-file. So, of course, this right here, you guys see me do this in all of my videos, is one of the most important parts of doing your nails. If you do not have this, your nails, I promise you, will probably not last that long. This is your primer here. And you put that onto your natural nail only. You don't put it onto the real, onto the um, nail tip. And then you go in with your dehydrator. And you put that on all of your fingers as well. The link for this, of course, will be below as it is in all of my beautiful nail videos. And here is my new poly gel kit that I got off of Amazon, of course. So this here is an unboxing and me trying out this kit and me showing you guys how to properly prep your nails. So, it came with this little card. It comes with six poly gels, full-size poly gels. Um, your matte top coat, your base coat, um, your regular top coat, fouls, your um, dual forms. Of course, your brush and spatula here. So, yes, like, I, my favorite thing about this kit, of course, was the size of the poly gels like they never come this big for me <laughs> when i get a set so shout out to this company here so i took out the color i needed my base coat and my top coat and of course it came with no slip solution but you know we ain't gonna trip off that because i use my handy 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 alcohol because that's like my favorite thing to use we're gonna go ahead and use their brush clean their brush off a little bit in that rubbing alcohol and i'm going with the color white today for my nails of course all right and i'm going in here now with the base coat and i do literally one hand at a time because the base coat is sticky and i don't want to be working on one hand and particles and all of that getting on the other one so i put the base coat on my hand on the nails and i cure that for 30 seconds now i'm gonna go in with my poly gel apply it to the entire nail and I'm just going in and patting it down. Um, I'm trying to use different methods so I can build an apex as I go because I'm still not really good at that. So I'm trying to go side to side with it here. Um, and hopefully that works out for me. But this was like very smooth. I really like this product. Very good buy. Um, of course... Like I said, the link for this will be below because I feel like this is honestly a good starter kit for a very good price. Like, like for real. It's really good, y'all. So, yes, just watch me lay this poly gel down, y'all.
all right so then i'm repeating the same step on the opposite hand i put my base coat down cured my nails for 30 seconds and laying that poly gel down and smoothing it and rubbing it into place All right, so this is what they look like once they are cured. And of course you cure them for 60 seconds. And yeah, I think they came out pretty good. So poly gel usually has a sticky layer to it. So you just wanna take some alcohol and rub that off before you get to doing any fouling or anything like that. So that is of course what you see me doing right here. And I'm also like rubbing it under my nails too because I just don't like having that sticky layer under my nails. So I'm going in and double checking to make sure that my nails are the same size. And going in with my regular foul and doing some shaping. So at this point, yes, I will be doing all of my shaping, fouling, and buffing. So I'm going in with my buffing block now just to smooth out the surface some, um, which I, I feel like I really didn't have to do a lot because it really wasn't any bumps, but I guess I'm just doing this to ensure that the top is nice and smooth. So now I have my e file and I am still using the... Um, football bit again because like I said this is one of my favorite bits to go in and get close to the cuticle area um and I'm just like I said just going in and cleaning up the cuticle area making sure their poly gel isn't too close um to my cuticles because if it is too close it will cause you um some lifting just because it is too close you don't ever want to have any product too close to your cuticle areas and i'm going in underneath um to make sure that under is smooth as well because i can't stand when it's extra product under my nails i know when we leave the nail shop like the majority of us get to pick it at our nails <laughs> so yeah i'm just making sure it's nothing under there and going in near my cuticles and clean it up just a little bit which i also feel like i didn't have to do too much of either And I am just getting out the specific jewels that I'm going to be using. I have so many, like it's almost ridiculous and I don't have as many as other people do. <laughs> so I will be doing some sugaring on my nails for the first time. And the sugaring came from my Loy Fun Kit. Um, so make sure you guys check out that video um to see that poly gel that i used so yeah 
like I said, this is a part that I never really record for you guys because it is so tedious and it's so long. Like, this is longer than applying the poly gel <laughs> when it comes to picking up these jewels, y'all. So, I'm just making sure I have everything ready, um, getting my jewels and everything. So, I accidentally went backwards here. Um, I use my Model 1's rhinestone glue first and apply it to my entire nail um and then i go in with my top coat so this is what i'm doing correctly on this nail taking the model one's rhinestone gel applying it to my entire nail and i apply it to my entire nail instead of just where i'm going to apply the rhinestones at because i want it to be smooth now i'm going in with my top coat for extra security on it because it does hold your rhinestones as well so I'm going in and I'm just picking up the rhinestones and placing them where I want them to be now you don't want to add too much top coat or too much of the rhinestone glue unless you're literally doing one nail at a time because your nails are slippery and the rhinestones will move <laughs> So you just want to be, um, you know, cautious of that. So this is me applying my rhinestones, guys. So here is my glitter sugar um, and I will be doing the same method that I use for my rhinestones going in with my rhinestone glue on all of the fingers that I'll be putting it on. And then I'm going in with that top coat. And yeah, I probably should have opened this up before I got started, but I didn't. So <laughs> here we are. So I'm going to just take my cuticle pusher and scoop it out onto my nails because I didn't have a tray to specifically dump it out on. And this little thing is so small, y'all. So <laughs> this is just the method that I'm using here. And this is my first time using it, so... I wasn't really tripping off of it, but this is how I did it, which was not bad, and it really wasn't messy, so yeah. So what y'all didn't see me do was cure this for 30 seconds, and then of course I'm just going in with my brush to make sure there's no excess sugar on my nails or whatever, and just get it from all over the place, but it really wasn't any extra that came off when I went ahead and did that.
so y'all can see so much better from this angle here on this hand like how cute and sparkly and pretty it is like look how pretty it is like I said, this is my first time using this so i was just like so impressed at how it was looking already y'all so i'm just shaking the excess um sugar off and then i'm going in and clean it up around my cuticles because i don't want that to dry up around my cuticles and i'm just using that brush with a little bit of alcohol like alcohol is my best friend when it comes to doing nails <laughs> and it's so sanitary like why not y'all so yeah just clean up those cuticles look how pretty it is like how cute okay so i'm done and this is the final look let me see is it gonna focus Focus, focus, baby, can you focus? Ew, I have to, I think this is like poly gel or something on the side. Yeah, it's poly gel, I have to clean up. But yes, I like how they came out. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen a new set of press-ons that I did that look similar to this, except these fingers are um, the sugar nails that I did actually have um glitter on them i was gonna do a different set and use like nude that came with this kit try it out but i was trying to be quick today and not take all day because doing the design i feel like would have took a little bit longer unfortunately but i really wanted to try this kit out because i've probably had it for like since the beginning of the month if not already a month and what I think my favorite thing about this kit is the size of these poly gels. Like, look at that. This is a full ounce of poly gel in here. And you guys have seen most of the poly gels that I get. And the poly gel is usually small because it's like the more you get, um the less product you get and i feel like it's like that when it comes to like your nail polishes too um unfortunately i did not try out the top coat with this kit because i just love my beetles so much i'm not 100 percent sure if the um top coat on this is a if you have to like wipe it off or not um because some top coats do usually have a sticky residue on them just as the poly gel does so you have to wipe that off in order to um move on to the next step and get that real shine in your nails but with the beetles you don't have to do that you just cure them and you done so i just didn't want to do this step because i wanted them to come out a1 and i have to go back over it but i will let you guys know because next time i use this kit i will more than likely be using the nude and doing the nude design that i would like so the lamp that i used the all the products that i used for this set will be in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out and i think these came out really good because i haven't sculpted my nails in probably a month and some change because like i said if you follow me on instagram you will see my last set that i um just did my last set is also here in this video and i really i didn't have to sculpt those because those are my press on nails those are going to be my press on nails and i did the lazy girl method using the full coverage nails so i didn't have to sculpt those so i feel like i haven't sculpted my nails in like a month and some change and they came out really really good like really good and this poly gel is really good it goes on like butter it goes on like butter i did four of my fingers um before i went ahead and cured it with my second hand, I did like three fingers and then went ahead and cured it. And I only did that because I didn't want to accidentally tap one. So you could do all five of your nails. You could do one whole hand and, you know, then go ahead and cure it. But I like this kit. So if you guys are looking for another poly gel kit, $30 Amazon, go ahead and get it. I highly recommend it. It comes with white, nude, clear a cover pink soft pink dark pink it even comes with your mat and you guys thought like y'all 
I am honestly impressed that it came with 120 of these nail tips, like the dual forms. What? Like 120? What? I don't even know why somebody needs this many. And they're long too, y'all. Let me show you. The thumb. This is how long the thumb is. And they have a nice curve. But if you don't like your nails being this curved, then yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But these things are long. Like, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. And if you have wide fingers or a wide thumb, you can use it. These are some good ones uh, to you. So I recommend it. But anywho, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Melanated Beauty. And stay tuned for my next video. Peace, love, and hair grease.